Buzzy, did you ever wrestle in a WWF? Yes. What do you think of the Federation now, the way it's run? Mm, I would have to say the way it's run right now is very professional. How do you feel as wrestling? It's well organized. Yes, it is. How, how do you feel wrestling has changed from the past to the present? <clears throat> wrestling is beginning to contract. It's getting smaller and smaller. Regionally, you mean? All over. Oh, okay. Not just recently, not just in Florida, but all over the country and the world. There are fewer places to wrestle, fewer wrestlers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's because of the cable. Okay, we have a call. Oh, who is it? Pro Wrestling Weekly. Hello. How you doing? Hey, Shannon. I got a question to ask Bugsy. Okay, who am I speaking to? Eric. Eric, okay. What happened to him? He used to be skinny and stuff. I used to see him. He was a great wrestler. What? What happened to him? I met your mother. Oh, you did? <clears throat> I feel bad for you then. Yeah, I do too, man. Yeah. Hey, thanks for calling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for calling. Yeah. <laughs> you tell it to your mama. Have you, have, any, have you ever had any serious injuries? Yes. Okay, what were they? Could you inform us? Could I inform you? Mm. Right now? Do you know? Did you have any serious injuries? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what they happened to me? I've had... Broken ankles, broken fingers, broken ribs, crushed vertebrae. Let's see what else. And a uh, broken hand. What was the most embarrassing thing you ever had done to you in the ring? <laughs> or outside? Or outside the ring? Now, that's a wide... I mean, like in the, in the studio itself, <clears throat> being interviewed and all that. I really don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. I couldn't say it's... It's hard to say. It all depends on the situation, like I say. Every situation has its own rules. Okay. I bet you drink a lot, don't you? I bet you're an alcoholic. You are an alcoholic, aren't you? No. No? Well, see, I was told you were. <clears throat> but that's all right. No, no. Uh, Ned, do you have any embarrassing stories that happened to you? Embarrassing stories? How could you have an embarrassing I, okay, story when you're talking about somebody who keeps I winning match after I, match after match? I do feel embarrassed okay. by having to sit next to you. How about feeling embarrassed after watch your matches? After watching my matches? I mean, have to watch your matches after I'm announcing I have to ordeal through your match. Because you're like one of the worst wrestlers of today. <laughs> I think he is an alcoholic. <laughs> Give me a break. You know, I, I've, seen, I've seen some of my matches. I, I watch you. You learn from mistakes. But, of course, a, a wrestler like myself, I don't make mistakes. Except you don't know how to wrestle, still. So. don't know how to wrestle. Ooh, this came undone. You don't know a wrist lock from a w wrist hold, okay? No, the, the joke is a, a wrist lock from a wrist <laughs> watch. Get it right. If you're going to say it, say it right. No. <laughs> Does it work, man? Uh, a person of my caliber, I, the, the matches that I win, I win match after match after match, and you have the, the, the audacity to sit there and try to try to put me down? Well, where are you coming from? People say that you are I'm unpredictable. Sorry. What do you think of that statement when you're in the room? Yes, is this working now? I think so, yeah. Uh, thank you. You don't know. <laughs> unpredictable? What's unpredictable? In the ring. Life is unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say that, Shannon? Yeah, I would, yeah. Oh, thank you. You agree with me. That's nice. Unpredictable. Who's unpredictable? See, it goes back to situations again. You call, you know, unpredictable. If if you're on top or, or you're on the bottom, if you go over or under, all, you know, there's ki all kinds of constants, but variables will continually be that way. Okay. Thank you. What happened between you and the Cyclops at the UWP? UWP what? <laughs> Universal what? Wrestling Promotion over at Columbus and Broadway. What happened between us? Yeah. What? What? Uh, why did you go in and did? You, what was? The, what built up to that match? What? What caused you to go in and? What uh, caused me to go in? And, and well, they phoned cycles. me up and said, "Would you like to wrestle?" Okay. I but said, it, "Okay." But was there something? Uh, what, something about Louis Estella? What happened? Or Louis Estella? Yeah, he was there that night. Okay. Wasn't he injured or something? Or is that how? Well. He looks injured all the time. You know okay. what I mean? He just got that look about him. Okay. But <clears throat> I don't really know the whole situation. There was something about one of the fellows who was in Japan, supposedly. He couldn't come, so they asked me because of the Cyclops. They're so big and mean and nasty. And they wanted, and they wanted someone to wrestle him and take care of the situation. 
Okay, you have any questions to add? Uh, have you wrestled in Memphis since it's been changed to the USWA? No. From the CWA? No, I don't think I have. Right. You've wrestled Jerry the King Lawler before? Yes, Jerry the King Lawler is a good wrestler. He's a ring general, yes. Would you ever consider going back and challenging him for his title? It depends on the money. Right. Okay. What move do you use to finish off your opponents with? What move? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, who cut your hair, man? You garden? <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? What move? Splash. Have you ever seen me wrestle? Yes, I have. But I uh, want the fans to know that aren't too familiar uh, with you. Are you fans familiar or not too familiar? Well, if you're not too familiar, it's the splash. And if you are familiar, then I don't have to tell you. Thank you very much.